Right people, welcome back. We're on another episode and we are, this time we are up north. This is South Shields Pier. Any further north we've been bleeding Scotland. Um, we're fishing at the gate. We, we, we weren't meant to be leaving until about five o'clock this morning. In fact, it's about now. Yeah, we weren't meant to be leaving my house until about half hour ago, but Craig, my cousin, who was with me at night, um, he messaged me about, it was about half ten, Craig, wasn't it? Half ten last night said, I can't sleep, I'm too excited. Should we go now? So, yeah, here we are. We, um, we, we left at half past, well, about, about 11 o'clock last night. So we've just got here, we stopped McDonald's on the way. Um, this isn't where I'm going to be fishing all day. We're meeting up with a couple of local lads. Uh, Mad Mick, you've seen Mick on a few of my videos, um, and another lad, James. Um, we're going to be fishing a few different marks. We're up here till Tuesday. I'm probably going to have a fish on the, on the Humber on the way back, maybe Tuesday. So we've got all day on the Monday to fish, in between watching the football on the laptop. Um, we want to fish. We're going to just fish here because it's the easiest place. We've got straight out of the van, walked halfway up the pier to the gate. I couldn't be bothered to walk round. Um, and we're just going to give it a go here. One rod at the minute. Um, bucket of fresh yellows as usual. Got some blacks, got some peeler. Getting some cart wings tomorrow. Um, also, thanks a million to everyone that commented on the video I put up the other day asking for marks up here. If I'm honest, it didn't really help me. Um, because everybody obviously said different marks. There were a few marks the same. South Shields Pier, where we are now, being one of them. Um, but there were so many. And it's obviously knowing which ones to fish on the, what part of the tide and you got a part already Craig? Yeah, what? Already he's only just put it out. Good lad. Um it's yeah it's knowing which part so I, I, I still I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go. Um I'm gonna leave it up to James he lives around here he's gonna help us out. Mick knows the area roughly. We're gonna do a cliff mark. I wanna do um I don't really know. It's just, we're just winging it. But at the minute, we're fishing here for a few hours until the other boys get out of bed and come and meet us, which probably won't be till this afternoon. But yeah, we're going to give it a go here. Tide's ebbing, so it's probably not the best time of the tide. But like I said, I don't want to be walking up no cliffs or trudging on no beaches that I don't know um, and, until I'm with someone that I do know. Um, so yeah, happy days. That's about it at the minute. Craig's had a bite straight away. He's only just put it out and they had a couple of good knocks, so that's good. Um, happy days. All right, I'll... Um, Oh, I'll bring his back when we catch a fish. So we came for cod, and we caught cod. Done. We can go home now, Craig. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> First chuck. What a little beauty. Perfect condition, little plump codling. Sweet. Happy days. So let's hope they get a little bit bigger than that. Definitely. We had to get we had to get it on video though. It's well cool. Well, I'm gonna get some pictures. Right. So we left South Shields Pier. It was pretty pants. We had bites all morning. But we couldn't couldn't hook them. I think they were just small little cod, like what Craig had. Um, so we went to the tackle shop, uh, Rutherford's. Rutherford's spoke to the fellow in there. We was going to go and fish the cliffs. Oh, look at that! And he said we'd be better off fishing Roker Pier today, which is where we are now, um, because it's only just opened this morning. We've had a couple of days of rough weather, and he reckons that there'll be fish caught here today. Good fish. So here we are. The only thing is, we are struggling. With, I don't know if it's a tide run or a swell, or whatever. So what he's doing is he's pulling the rods, like really, really pulling hard. I've got, me and Craig, I've both got a rod that way because we chucked the first rods out and they shot up that way up the pier. So this time we've cast sort of down tide, if you like, because the tide's coming in along the pier, I would have thought. And now these rods are being pulled this way. So it's, oh, I don't know, it's doing whatever it wants. Um, I'm just going to have to, it's just being slid up and down the railing. It, I'll just have to leave it and deal with it. And hopefully we can tell a bite between the tide and the, and a thing which I'm pretty confident I'll be able to do but we'll have to wait and see um, yeah here we are baits are lug and squid on one and crab and lug on the other um, we're just waiting for Mick and James to turn up with a car and then we'll be uh, we'll be banging out a bit of car I suppose with the uh, with the squid and, and whatever else right I will bring you back if and when we catch a fish finally we got one, worth talking about. I mean, it's still tiny for up here, but we're well happy with that. This little you cod, Craig. Yeah. Well, I think it's down to me to get one now. Have what, does. Proper, oh, mate, it's full up of crab. Full up of crab and shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely full of it, yeah. Happy does. Yeah, nice one, dude. Well done, mate. Well happy. <laughs> one for the fish hunter. 
finally. That was just on uh, a bit of lug and a bit of squid. Again, only small, but hopefully they're going to get a bit bigger. Happy days. All the cod are going back. We ain't taking our own. They can all go back in the drink. They should all survive from this head, from this depth as well. Um, yeah. Cart wings have just turned up as well. And that little cod, let's just spat this like that, look. Oh. Mouthful of sand hills. Three or four sand hills, eh? Madness. Right, let's get some more. Right, people, something I forgot to mention earlier. Um, I want to say a big shout out to Gav Manshaw Riggs. Um, he, uh, me and Gav had a little chat, and uh, basically now, Gav is going to sponsor the channel with rigs. Um, he made me up 30 rigs to come up here with um, yesterday on the off chance. And when I said to Craig, oh, he's making me up a load of rigs, he said, oh, ring him and see if he can do the same for me. And he, he did. He, um, he made up 30. So yesterday, he, he massively, massively, massively helped us out and tied up 60 rigs, all with big, massive hooks on our deal to come up here with. Um, all pulley rigs and sort of stuff, and he's gonna um, from 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 now. I'm gonna go and get that can for it rolls in the drink. Um, from now, he uh, yeah, he's gonna sponsor the channel. So I would say 90% of my rigs from now on will probably be made by Gav. Um, now, obviously, I've used other rig makers in the past. Jay, um, Jay's a good friend. Um, I, had a, I had someone asked me about it the other week, and it's it's nothing against Jay. It's just that Gav made my rigs for me when I went up to Scotland for the skate. Um, and I landed my biggest ever fish on them. And uh, I just, uh, years and years ago, I was always the sort of person that I use my own rigs, I don't trust anyone else's, because if something went wrong, I can only blame myself. But I've come to trust Gavin's rigs. Yeah, mate. I've come to trust Gavin's rigs, using them when I've been out with Luke, because Luke always had them, and if I needed, if I didn't have any rigs made up, which is hardly ever, because, well, we all know I'm a fucking nightmare. Um, I would just use Gav's, um, whatever Luke had in his box. Um, and I really liked them, so he basically makes them to our one them with whatever tackle one on them. Um, yeah, he uh, he's a good bloke, and he uh, he get your rigs done quick. So if anybody wants any rigs from Gav, um, wants to try them out, whatever, just look him up on Facebook. He's on YouTube as well. Um, Gav Manshaw rigs. Craig uses them now. You know Matt uses them all the time, who Matt fishes with me. He, I think even Maddie Man's going to start using them, the hobo, because he done well when we was at the Humber last week on the cod. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I I'm still will make some of my own rigs um, every now and again when I need them. Um, <coughs> but, yeah, the majority of them will be coming from Gav. So, uh, big shout out to him. Thank you very much, mate. So far, we've had a couple of cod. Um, hopefully, we'll get some more. The sea's picking up now. Um, which is apparently what we need. <coughs> I'd like it to be flat calm, if I'm honest, in the sunshine. But, you've got a bike, Craig? That was one that's went a minute ago, wasn't it? Um, so, yeah. Look at Craig. Oh, Craig, that's no good, mate. Matching rods. Your, your reels ain't matching. Oh, that's disgusting. You can't have that. He's a right tackle tart, he's Craig. So, he went into Medway Tax Supplies. And bought the Finn Noor, same as the one I use on my boat, the Metalite. And then, then he saw the Finn Noor Lethal, and because it was gold and silver, he said, "Oh, I like that one more." So he bought that one, and he liked that one that much. He's uh, he's bought another one. So uh, yeah, good old Medway Tackle Supplies. Oh, actually, we got to ring them. Um, we was actually meant to go in to Mick this morning to pick up his other reel. But because we came up here early, we um, yeah, we, we didn't. We totally forgot. Um, I need to ring Mick, actually, and just let him know that we won't be coming in today because we are a million, million miles away. Well, hopefully, peeps, we'll see some more fish. Look, look that sea is picking up. Look down there. Let me zoom in. Waves are crashing up along the shore. Oh, that was a good one. Still don't know where we're going to fish tonight, but... I think it's probably going to be South Shields again, but we'll see. We will see. Well, welcome back, everyone. Oh, what a day. What a day and night. So it's now about half six, quarter to seven at night. We've been up since yesterday morning at half past at eight o'clock-ish, half eight, whenever I go out of bed, whenever Craig go out of bed. Worked all day, drove all night. We fished all day, all morning, all day. We've been back to our where we stay in our hotel thing wherever we stay in Airbnb 
And now we're back on South Shields Pier. We're going to do the rest of the night, go back, get a couple of hours kip, and then go home. So we fished here this morning. Craig had one tiny, tiny little codling, which was honestly about as long as my finger, which you've already seen. Then we both fished on Roker Pier. Um, we both had a codling each year of about two, two and a half pound. Um, Mad Mick's with us now from Mad Mick Go Outdoors. Um, you've seen his channel, you've seen him fishing with me before. Um, and we're having another go. Um, we're, but we're a lot further up South Shields Pier this time, we've walked up. Um, we're probably about halfway up. Looking on Navionics, I found a little hole, what I think looks like a little hole on the Navionics, at about 70 yards off the pier, which is big enough for all three of us, really, to get in and fish. Um, so yeah, that is tonight's plan. Um, I'm fishing one rod with a multiplier, conventional, just because it looks like clean ground out there. Um, and obviously with the mono it sits in the tide nicely as you can see the rod bent over sitting in the tide and then the other rod is on the braid which doesn't bend doesn't sit in the tide sits like an absolute bag of potatoes um, and yeah it's pretty horrible to fish with to be honest but it's um, it's the rough ground setup if you like if it gets in the snack I've got a good chance in snapping it out and getting it back with 60 or 80 pound braid whatever that is straight through um, Hopefully, we'll see a few fish. We're fishing it over low, and we're going to try and fish it right up. Mine and Craig's... Oh, that might have been... That's a bite, boys and girls. Yeah, I've got to go. I've got to go. Well, yeah, I said I had a bite, didn't I? First chuck, little plump codling. Again, very small. God, oh, he's got a gut on him, though. A bit like... Uh, be like our old mate, Mad Mick. <laughs> oh, that's me. that's thermals, that. <laughs> thermals, thermals, my ass. <laughs> Yeah, no, every day that was on the that was on the rough ground rod, the one I was just whinging about, complaining. Um, so yeah, I'll get him unhooked and get him back. That is a bit of a touch. It's given me hope. It's given me hope. <laughs>